Hey guys, welcome to my first Tutorial Tuesday video. Um, it's Photovoltaic, and today we're going to be learning how to draw a character in perspective. So, for the character, in light of our event, I decided to do a Mermaid. Um, May is a Pandy World character, specifically the shy purple one. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is sketch out her design, which is fun. And then, we will get on to the fun part. So, the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is how to do the perspective box, which is this nifty little device that I was taught by my art teacher to put a character inside of a box, um, find the center, and then use that to base any perspective off of. And what you're going to do is you're going to try and keep your lines parallel, and to do this I normally make the line parallel with the bottom and then just use the same line and transform it to make it whatever size I need it to be. And you're going to make a box around your character. Um, I normally just reuse the same line to make it sure everything is parallel with one another. Next, you're going to take your corners and connect them with a different color on a separate layer to find the midpoint. Uh, this is a foolproof way of finding the middle as long as you use straight lines and go from corner to corner exactly um, because once they intersect, that is the center point and that is where you're going to base all of your drawing off of. After you've found the midpoint, you're going to draw a small line connecting the midpoint to the outer edge of your box. The next step is going to be to transform your box, uh, but first you're going to have to copy it and then paste it into another layer, and then you're going to squish the top box. Um, I used the free to form tool. Um, on Psy, but in some other programs it'll say warp or perspective or distort and it really just does depend on the program that you're using and if you're doing traditionally you just would draw the box with the top smaller than the bottom and then guess what you're gonna do that's right you're going to do the X again to find the center point and then draw the line from the center point to the edge of the box because this part is almost identical every single time. And then this is where digital artists get a little bit of a leg up because you can use your digital tools to help you kind of cheat. Um, you're gonna make a mark um, at the midpoint on both of them and then on the original sketch you're going to make a mark at the top of the head, the bottom of the chin, the top of the shoulders, and at the very middle of the waist. And then take those measurements, slide them over to match up with the midpoint of your other one, and then squish them so that the top head line is almost the same distance from the top line of your box as it is in the first one. And this is where I want to say I am sorry, traditional artists. So the next part of this tutorial is going to be drawing your actual character in the perspective that you've set. And there's just a couple of quick notes that I want to make before I just start talking over the video instead of trying to explain it. And that's that the clothes the tail and the head are go all going to be more arced up because you're looking up at the character from this angle. So the skirt's going to look more like it's flowing around her at an angle where you can see into it from the bottom. Um, her clothes are all going to look like they're closer and pointed up towards her head because if something's wrapped around something and you're looking at an upward angle, it looks like it's kind of pulled up more than anything else. And also her hair, you're going to see the back of her hair, like the part that falls over the back of her neck, more than you're going to see the top of her head. So it looks like it's drawn longer a little bit, solely because you can sort of see into it more. 
so while I'm doing the line art, I thought I would ask you a little bit of a question, but more just a call for feedback than anything else. Um, I'm gonna be doing these Tutorial Tuesday videos every Tuesday from here on out until whatever else happens. And I wanna know what you guys wanna see. Um, I have plans, I have some stuff planned, but I don't wanna only do what I have planned. I kinda want it to be more interactive than that. Um, so if you leave a comment below with what you wanna see me do, um, tutorial-wise, of course, um, I'm gonna try and add it to a queue of things that I'm going to do. And, uh, of course, um, every comment that gets the most likes and gets pushed up in there proves that that is the more relevant topic. So, I want to see you guys discuss this. Like, I want to see what you guys have to say. And, like, what kind of videos you want from me. Um, I plan to do more topic tutorials like this and character tutorials where I talk more about how to draw specific characters and how to do specific things with specific characters. And I want to do some fan art tutorials and other things like that. And really, it's just going to be more me playing off of what you guys ask for. Um, so, like, drop a comment. And of course, I can't promise that I'll do every single topic that you guys ask me for. But I will definitely try to take your feedback to heart and put it on my notes. Because I love you guys and I would love to get your feedback and to work with you on this project that I have so lovingly delved myself into. And I'm super excited for what the future has to show. And uh, I can't wait. So the last little bit's just gonna be the coloring and I'm gonna do a coloring tutorial in a couple of weeks. But um, I just wanted to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you post your attempt at this on PG World and tag it Tutorial Tuesday and at me in the comments, um, you can be featured in the end of next week's video. And if you don't know what PG World is, you should check it out. Um, we're a global community for artists of all ages and our main focus is community and interaction. Um, it's very supportive and I love the community there. I've been a user for over four years myself even though I've only been a moderator since January and I definitely recommend checking it out especially if you want support for your art despite any level of ability like you could be a beginner and just be delved into the community there. Also thank you guys um, for all of your undying support and like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks. Bye.